Hello everyone and welcome to Friday and welcome to me driving a car to an airport to pick up uh, a meal. Uh, you guys know I'm a struggle Conroy but we'll be referring to him by his, his actual name for his duration here because I think it'd be a little weird to call each other by screen names. The only time I feel that that's appropriate is at the Starman.net conventions because a lot of people tend to do that for some reason. It's actually funny, the, uh, the first song that came on the iPod for Shuffle whenever I got in the car was Delfino Plaza, and I was like, how fitting that, you know, a song from Super Mario Sunshine, one of the games that Emil has LP'd, would come on as I'm going to pick up Emil. But uh, I actually got a text from him. He uh, landed early. Um, I, I'm going to be there right on time, the time he said that he would originally be there, which is 10.50. But he's actually there now, and I still am like 20 minutes away. So um, Turn left. I guess I'll see him when I see him. Welcome to the airport. It was a nightmare getting here. Seriously, I've never been here before. I mean, I had the GPS, but it was, it was very hard to find, even with the GPS. <laughs> Left lane arrivals, I can do that. Actually, I've been here. I remember this airport. I, I don't remember when I've been here. This is weird. Arriving at destination. I feel like I've been here. Anyway, oh, hey, there he is. Hello, good sir, how are you? Very good, nice you'll, to meet you. You'll get used to this. For lunch, me and Emil are here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I'm doing uh, Parmesan garlic, honey barbecue. What do you got? Uh, the hot barbecue and hot, hot. How can you tell the difference between those? Because they look like the exact same. That's the exciting part. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. After lunch, Emil wanted me to know exactly how terrible Sonic 2006, you call it Sonic Next Gen, right? Yeah, people call it either or. Okay, Sonic 2006, Sonic Next Gen is. He actually already had a copy, but he's going to get a used copy here at GameStop uh, because he wants me to see it and see just how terrible it is. So, we're going to find Sonic Next Gen. The guy at the counter is going to look at you like you're crazy. You know that, right? Yeah. Well, we got back to the apartment because we, 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 we got it. Uh, we got the Sonic Next Gen game. And we got back to the apartment, hooked up uh, Emil's PS3. Mm -hmm. Guess what was in the PS3? Yes, it's his other copy. Other copy of Sonic. I, I didn't think I brought it. I thought I had like Vesperia, not Vesperia, Eternal Sonata in there, and apparently I didn't. <laughs> so uh, you're now the proud owner of two copies of one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> That was not a monkey. You probably heard that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that was an old man on uh, on on Sonic Next Gen. This is by far. I don't. I can't. I don't know if I can say it's the worst game I've ever played because I've played Captain Novelin. But this is a terrible game. Absolutely. Ter when the game starts, Emil's telling me that it reminds him of Final Fantasy X. He's right. It actually looks exactly like Final Fantasy X. And then there's a princess, and then Sonic is there. He's like, I'm Sonic. It, it's bad. This is really bad. This is really, really... Okay. What is, what is left to do? Like, just go through that. And then you get your rank. Yes, that was graded, by the way. And then, after the loading... After that, yeah. after the result screen, it's got to load it again. Yeah, there's been more loading in this game than anything I think I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. And, Grant, and imagine that you're like five years late to the party when it was like the cool thing to hate on this game, and just because you, you were expecting it to be like daytime unleashed when I was telling you about it in the car, yeah. that is why I am making you try it out. Okay, m my question is, traditional modern Sonic games, like daytime unleashed, does this game ever get to that point? No. Like, no? No. Never. It's, it's not anything like it. No boosting, drifting. Because the level I just played, I jumped through some rings. Is that the entire game? It's not Superman 64 now, but there are levels. The reason, one of the main reasons I hated Unleashed, besides the Werehog thing, was that you had to walk around towns, and there's towns, and I, I hate it. Sega's lost it. Generations better be good. So at any loop in the game, you can just walk up the loop. Uh, yep. <laughs> All it looks for is that you are touching it, not that you're moving. Like, look at that. <laughs> Scripted! Sonic, this, I, you got those magnetic shoes. Look, look at this, I can press any direction, and it'll go the same way. Like, I'm rotating the control stick while he's doing it. It's that scripted. And and he never gets any faster. That is how fast That he is gets. so... That's not even how fast Sonic is supposed to go. That's why I like some of the, the, the modern 
Sonic games is because, like, in, in Unleashed, you get the boost button, you go to go super fast. This one, you're practically walking. This is the worst boss fight I think I've ever seen in the history of gaming. And you get hit on nothing. Because it's possible to, to die almost immediately if you don't even grab a ring. It's what happened to me. Oh, also Mallory, so. Oh! I don't, I got, you gotta get the timing just right so you can get away in time. Dinner is Miyabi's. There's a, there's a Miyabi's in Myrtle Beach, but there's also one in Columbia. We've never been to this one, so we came. <laughs> These are the people who are here. We got edamame to start with. Um, Amiyo had never had edamame. What do you think of it, by the way? Good. Good. It's, uh, it's salty. Yeah. <laughs> the inside aren't salty, but you kind of lick the outside as you're eating them. We just got a, a bunch of sushi and... Did we get something else besides sushi? Did you get something else besides sushi? So we pretty much just got sushi. Much. And, the, and the dumplings are coming. The dumplings are coming! The dumplings are coming! <laughs> now the rest of the food's here. Also we got uh, dumplings, pot stickers, gyoza, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is a TNT roll. Mal, do you remember what's in this? It's deep, deep fried tuna. With, with crab and something else, and cream cheese. Spicy tuna, spicy tuna, Philly. Uh, a meal you had, a dragon roll, which is gone, and that is the kamikaze roll. And do you even remember what's in that? Nope. No? Okay. And uh, Mallory's got a very beautiful array of nigiri. Did you do that on purpose? Oh, you're an artist. And then what is this shrimp tempura? Okay. So we're all set, and oh, this is mine. Uh, salmon, smoked salmon, crab. So we've got a spread. Spread. You're looking at the screen. Double vision. <laughs> Dinner was excellent, and we're finishing up this evening by uh, playing You Don't Know Jack on the Wii. Um, I've never played anything Major related dude. to You Don't Know Jack. They have. So this is going to be an experience for me, I'm sure. I really have no idea what to expect. Final scores. It's player two! Wow. Wow. You don't know Jack. Wow. That was different. <laughs> she destroyed us. How, why'd you do so good? Because I want silly trivia. Apparently you don't know Jack about her. Yeah, I don't know Jack.